Hello everyone and welcome to BrickStars. Now we already did a video showing the editing procedure of this photo, but now we're going to be doing a live action director's cut sort of video explaining the procedure and thought process of setting, setting up this photo, this amazing photo that we needed to do for our 500 subscribers or followers on Instagram. That was a huge deal for us. We were so thrilled to have reached that milestone, so we needed to do something that was special and something that we haven't done. We did do a photo with the woolly mammoth a while ago, and I'm talking over two years ago. We did it outside, so in actual snow, and the only problem, well, one of the problems with doing it in snow is you cannot control your environment. The snow starts to melt. Once you touch it, it doesn't really stay the same. So we wanted to change our thoughts and change our procedure and do it now our modern way. So our modern way is to do it all in a very controlled setting where we have access to all kinds of props and things that we can utilize and make sure that the photo is the best we can make it. So here we are pouring this really fine white sand. Now you could see there's bits of other stuff there and that's intentional. We sort of mixed in little bits of rock and um, grass and things into our sand so that it just looks and feels more natural. I mean, in an Arctic environment, I guess you could have pure clear sand, but the way that we saw it is even still, um, there's birds, there's animals, there's other things that can walk around and create sort of muck. So it's a very little detail, but I do think that having something else that's not just pure white snow does help overall. Another super important prop that we tend to use is actual lights. Now these tiny little LEDs can easily fit inside a creation like this and just create that glow that you that you can utilize to make sure that you end up with a little touch of realism and a detail that's in the background, not very subtle type detail, but it works in my opinion. So we tend to use these little lights and they work fantastically. We picked them up on Amazon. We do have sort of yellow ones or yellowed lights as well as sort of the more white slash blue lights. So we do have the trailer from one of the sets from 2018 there in the background but really we want it there for the color because when you have that pop of orange in the back, especially with the rest of it being very white, and that's the photo. So then we can go to the camera scene and here is where lighting and focus and f-stops and all the camera settings come into play. So we use a macro lens, even though this really isn't that close, we found the macro lens is the perfect sort of field of view for what we need. So we focused on the minifig that you see here, but we make sure to put everything else in line. So you do end up getting everything else in focus. We pair up our remote control because with a photo like this, it takes a second and we don't want to touch the, the camera and end up shaking it and getting it blurry. So the remote works nice. And there we have one of the photos. Thank you all for watching, stay tuned for more content, more Instagram posts, more videos. Hit like, hit subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think about our videos and our scenes and dioramas. Thank you for watching.